Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to Beauty Talk with Nadia. This is just going to be a pretty big haul on some of the things that I've got recently. I'm actually going to try to tone it down a bit because I'm looking at all of this stuff and I'm like, Nadia, you didn't need to buy all this stuff. But as usual, I go out and I'm tempted and I buy things. So of course I wanted to share it with you guys, but I don't think I'm going to be having that many hauls like everybody says. But um, yeah, I'm going to try to tone it down. I'm only going to get things that I feel like I really, 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 really want. Or maybe, of course, things that I need. Like, there are some things that I need. And I will get them or maybe limited edition things that I know I can't find again. But I'm going to try to make sure that I monitor my buying. But I'm not going to set any rules because I break rules. So I know I'm going to say, oh, Nadia, you can only spend such and such. And then something comes out and I go buy it. I don't even remember how much I spent or how much I got left to spend. So anyway... I've gotten these things over a period of maybe a month to a month and a half. So let me start sharing it with you guys. One of the first things that I got are these Shiseido facial cotton, um, cotton little pad things. And they look like this. Let me show you guys one. They look just like this. They're a pretty good size. Look at it compared to my hand. This stuff is awesome. Like I literally would buy this over and over and over and over again. I actually got this at Sephora. It was about $9.99, about $10. I ordered it when I got some other things here. And I'm like, let me give it a try. I heard everybody bragging about it. I'm like $10 for cotton pad things. But I gave it a try and I do love it. I am going to say though, they are expensive. So I don't see myself using this for everything. I do have regular cotton rounds for my toner and stuff like that. Anything else I'm using on my face, but I do use these for around my eye area because they are ridiculously soft. I have not encountered a cotton round or a cotton pad that has been this soft. So I feel like it gives justice to around my eyes, especially where you need to be super sensitive. So I would recommend these because they're definitely worth the money. Just don't use them all the time. Like don't use five or six a day because you're going to get mad every time you have to buy another pack. I actually bought a, um, this was actually what my Sephora haul with the cotton rounds. I purchased this palette from Lorac. It's called the little black palette and it has four eyeshadows. If I'm not mistaken, they're baked eyeshadows. Yes, they're baked eyeshadows, and it comes with a little primer like this. I actually purchased that for my sister for Christmas, and I fell in love with the eye looks that she was doing and the way it looked that I said I had to buy it for myself. And I can't remember how much it was when I bought it for my sister, like 30 something dollars. And I guess it's on clearance. They're getting rid of it. I'm not even sure if you can find it now, but, um, I got it for like $18 or something around 20 bucks. So I really do love it. I've worn it several times. I love the colors. Literally. They're not too shimmery. They are shimmery, but they're not like crazy, like glitter shimmery that you can't even wear them to work. I I wear them to work. The primer, I have not used it yet, but I've used this primer, the Lorac Behind the Scenes Primer, and it is some good stuff. It really keeps on the eyeshadow. So very beautiful colors, and they can literally all go together. Like when I do my looks, I use all four colors. So not bad, and it's literally everything you need. It just doesn't have a matte, but sometimes when I wear it, I feel like sometimes I don't need a matte to go in my look. Sometimes when I want like an all shimmer look, I use this, and it's off the chain. I actually sunk in and got the Naked 3 palette. I've had it for a while now. I want to say over a month. So I guess I just didn't feature it in my last haul. I really do love it. It's awesome. I'm not going to swatch it or anything like that because I know that everybody and their mama knows about the palette. But it looks just like this. I'm in love with the colors. I'm seriously in love with rose gold. Like that should honestly have been like the color of the year. I know it's like orchid something. But it should literally be like rose gold because that is like the end thing from like the end of last year to the beginning of this year so if you guys haven't tried the naked three and you're into rose gold colors i would definitely give that a try and the last palette that i bought that's why i'm saying i can't buy any more makeup literally three palettes do i seriously need any more eyeshadow but i got the Too faced chocolate bar palette i literally fell in love with this palette like with this palette i could not resist and guys literally it does smell like chocolate like, I don't know if you guys have smelled their bronzer. 
oh, but it smells like chocolate. It comes with this little flappy little plastic that tells you all the names of the colors, which I really don't like, but I'm not big on the names of the colors. I really don't care. But, um, there you go, guys. It's beautiful. A beautiful neutral palette for every day. If you guys don't know, I work in an office setting. So even though I love colorful eyeshadow i love color on my eyes it's not really practical for every day so i get lots of usage out of things like this and of course i have 50 million neutral palettes but i fell in love with this one i love the smell i love the colors that is a badass palette like i really do love it i also picked up two blushes which i've yet to even open or use but they're new to milani and i love milani blushes this one on this side is bella rosa and it is a matte blush if you guys don't know milani has a lot of blushes well at least they're baked blushes but they're all like have shimmer to them they're not matte so these are the new two baked blushes that are matte so once again this is bella rosa which is like a bright pink which I'm sure that if I put this on, I have to pretty much do some blending out, but Milani's pretty good on their blushes. And I love this color. This is very unique. This is Delicioso Pink, number 10, and it's a more lighter baby doll pink. So I'm absolutely in love with these. Haven't used them. I'm just in love with the packaging and the color. So I will do a review if you guys want me to, because I just love Milani blushes. Like literally, if you open this drawer right here, I probably have like all of them or close to it. I also purchased because I thought it was so cute and I had to get it and I've used it like literally the whole week so I can honestly tell you guys how I feel about it. I bought the new Clinique Cheek Pop Blush Pop in number two Peach Pop. The Cheek Pop Blush Pop in Peach Pop. I just love it. It has that edge. This is the packaging. You guys know I'm not a Clinique person but seriously look at this. Like, look at the detail. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I posted a picture of this and I was like, seriously, sometimes packaging is everything. Let me show you this again. Like, literally, and I've used this. Sorry, my hand was moving there. I've literally used this, like, all week. And you see that I barely put an indentation in there. And I hope that that little whole flower thing does not go away. It's so beautiful it was about 21 dollars i'm sorry if i didn't tell you the prices on everything but it was about 21 dollars and there's four colors but i'm not getting any other ones they do blend in really well and it does not take a lot to build it up but i feel like it's not like crazy peach in your face like it's literally the perfect amount like this is the kind of blush that i will use for work all the time because it could go with any eye look and i love peach it's beautiful I actually saw the other day in Walgreens this Wet n Wild Single Blush in Nutty. I actually did open this so I could go ahead. Let me swatch this for you guys. It looks like this. I heard about this blush a super duper long time ago. And you know these babies are only like 99 cents. And I couldn't find it anywhere. So I thought it was discontinued. I was going to order it online. I never did. But I went in the other day and they're normally 99 cents. And I got it for 69 cents. So you can always find deals like that. And I love this color and i love wet and wild eyeshadows off the chain i picked up a fergie from wet and wild also it is a primer and it's an eyeshadow primer it's called take on the day a little party and it actually has some shimmer to it they, they make a regular one which is just a regular primer like a cream colored primer i guess but this one actually has a little bit of shimmer to it and i've used it maybe once or twice once twice I don't know, but it is very pretty. Look at it right there. Very, very, very beautiful. So I use this. I could even use this in conjunction with this. Like literally it works beautifully. Look at it right there again. If you want to see it, I love it. And it was only like five bucks or something like that. Um, I caved in and I got the Mac, um, studio finish concealer in NC 42. I have a lot of blemishes on my face. I just recently finished a concealer that I had, um, it was in my recent empty, so go check that out. I'll link it down below as well. And I've heard so many good things about this primer, that it's full coverage, that it lasts all day. And that's exactly what I needed because I have crazy blemishes. I mean, crazy dark spots from blemishes that I've had on my face. It just stays there. Like, if I have a pimple, the black mark, the marks just stay on my face, and that drives me crazy. And you don't want to put on your makeup and have all of that there. So I definitely have been wearing this for literally like a week and a half to almost two weeks, and I really do love it. It blends in. It matches me perfect, and it is full coverage, and it lasts literally like all day. From MAC, I also picked up the... Uh, 
Viva Glam Rihanna lipstick, which all the proceeds, all the money that you pay for these, which I think this lipstick was about $16. They used to be $15. Now they're $16. Um, it goes to AIDS. So MAC doesn't make any money off of this. I love the packaging. Like literally MAC packaging is simple and beautiful. This bullet um, eyeshadow, but I love the red to it. And this is the color right here. And it's actually what I'm wearing on my lips today. I love it. I've worn it about three or four times. I get compliments every time. Do I need any more red lipsticks? No, but I love it and it goes for a good cause. I also got, I haven't even opened it yet, but I was on a mission to find this thing because my Ulta didn't have it. And I found it at another Ulta after the lady had to go in the back and find it. And this is the Ulta Cream Coat Cream Eyeshadow and it's in rose gold. You get the pattern here, Naked 3 Rose Gold, this Rose Gold. It's not even open, so I can't even, you know, tell you that I've used it and that I love it or whatever, but I've seen a bunch of reviews on it. I've seen a bunch of swatches on it, and I had to get it. So I got that. It was about $8, so it wasn't bad at all. And, of course, when I was buying it, there was no sale because those Ulta things are normally like buy one, get one half off, but whatever. And last but not least, I got this Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush. When this went on sale, especially at Sephora for VIP members, everybody was going crazy over it. And I could have got one, but I was like, nah, and it sold out in like no time. And then, of course, everybody got it. Everybody did their videos. And there's like about six, six colors, five or six colors. And these are about $35, $36 a pop. So there's no way. It's like between $34 to $36. There's no way I was getting all the colors. This is an expensive blush. But I did get one of them in Mood Exposure. And it is literally beautiful, guys. Like, literally, this is like a high-class blush. And what I like about it is it's not too crazy pigmented. So you only need a little bit. You don't need a lot. But with my skin complexion, I'll put it on maybe like about two times to build up the color. But it's still not a whole lot. And it could go with any eye look. So the two blushes that I did get, these two can go with any eye look. Now, these two, you know gotta go with specific eye looks because these are more like bam in your eye kind of colors anyway guys like i said these are this is everything that i got as usual if you have any questions about any of this stuff you can link it down below and um yeah i don't think you're gonna be seeing that many hauls i'm not gonna ban myself from buying makeup and buying things that i love i work this is what i like this is my hobby so i will buy things but i'm gonna try to restrain myself because sometimes i'll see something and i'm like i gotta have it and then i buy it and it sits here but you know certain things i feel like they're worth buying to put in my collection and to put in my makeup so and put in my stash and just to look at it and it's just beautiful and of course to use it because you don't just stash it you got to use it so i got to get stuff that i'm actually going to use anyway i hope you guys are having a great day as always take care and thank you for watching bye all right let's do